left. That should do it. <sighs> Thankfully, dragons sleep a lot. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's a bathtub that goes all the way around the castle. Good guard George thought of it. Dragons are afraid of baths. Hmm. I do not like this name, bathtub. I think we should call her Emote. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, how do we get water in there? Uh -huh. Oh, I got it. Wow, that was some magic trick. Well, geographically speaking, this area is rife with underground springs. The dragon! She's back! So, well, uh, we got a moat. But you're on the wrong side. Luckily, dragons can't climb trees, but they did eat loots. The moat had stopped the dragon from getting into the castle, but it stopped them too. And it was getting late and cold. If George wanted to be a knight, he had to get everyone back in the castle. George could build a bridge, but the dragon could cross the bridge too. He needed a bridge that people could cross, but that would disappear when dragons showed up. And then, huh? good guard George saw it. It was the perfect bridge for dragons. George, you okay? George was better than okay. He knew how to keep Charky off stage. You're a genius. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a drawbridge. To build a drawbridge, you need some wood and a way to keep the wood together and a hinge so your drawbridge can fold up and some rope and a pulley so you can raise and lower your bridge. And you have to get rid of your stairs. That way, knights could enter, but dragons stayed out. <laughs> Sire, two riders approacheth. <laughs> Guard! Huh? Something was wrong. This wasn't in the play. Come, come! Hmm. For building a dragon-proof drawbridge, I knight thee, Sir Giorgio! <laughs> George had saved the play, protected the castle, and become a knight. And he did it twice on Saturday. George, we can turn this blanket into a sail and we can zoom over the flats. We need a mast and a boom. The two poles you hang sails on. I know all about sailboats from that model boat competition, remember? George remembered now. One pole went up and down, 
and the other went across the bottom. It was the perfect place for a mast. If only he had a couple of poles. From the recycling bins, take anything you want. Sales didn't have bristles or dust pants, so they removed them. Now, how could he hold the handles together? Luckily, that was a snap. Ready to hang the sail? That's another nautical expression. Once their sail was sail-shaped, they needed to attach it to the poles. <laughs> Attaching it to the mast and boom was a breeze. Well, almost. sail in place, they'd soon be moving quickly. But their mast blew past. So George found a way to hold it fast. Ready? Okay. What if we let the boom out so the sail catches the wind? Only one more delivery, but we'll never make it all the way around the lake to Windmill Lane by 5 o'clock. Hmm. <gasps> ah! They didn't have to go around the lake. They could go across it. <laughs> Good idea, George. <laughs> Honors. Ah! 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 Not bad for a city kid. <laughs> ah! <laughs> She's a real beaut. Couldn't have done it without you, partner. George, day one of a new golden pouch delivery year starts today. Think we'll win again? Uh -huh. George was certain. Because when it came to paper delivery, it was always smooth sailing with Bill. Here you go. <laughs> Toots was going to infect the doorman. George had to stop him. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. There you go. George and Yoki needed to get to the doorman's pen quickly. But their spaceship was tired. Oh! 
very tired. Soup delivery for the patient. Hmm, three-letter word for feline. Ah, of course. Oh, drat. Do you have a pen I might borrow? <laughs> Certainly. This didn't look good. Here we go. Now, what was that word? Hmm. That's it. Put the pen in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Huh. They were going to infect Professor Wiseman. They had to distract her. Shoo shoo. Ah, oh, yes, cat. <laughs> you won this one, monkey. But just wait. Quick, get on her hand. <laughs> ah! <Yeah>! Monkey! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> See ya, monkey. Toots was heading towards Professor Wiseman's mouth. <laughs> but George found a shortcut. Well, I've got just the thing to help you feel even better. Homemade chicken soup. This is it. We'll go right back to the big guy. Then we'll have ourselves a real jammy party. Cause I'm a rambling jerk. It looked like there was no way to stop Toots. But then, George remembered something. <laughs> Ooh, feels like something's crawling on my hands. How odd. I'd better wash them. No, no, no. Wait. Don't wash your hands. Whatever you do, please don't wash your hands! No! George knew that there were still other germs out there but at least he had made his building a tiny bit safer. When George woke up from his strange dream, he decided to go check on the man right away. But there was something he had to do even before that. Wash his hands and his feet, after all. You can never be too careful. Uh, nope, not here either. <laughs> Mr. Quint was right. Grebe eggs were the same size as George's egg. But their color was all wrong. George's egg didn't have spots. But his drawing did. Hmm. That's our Tiffany, all right. Oh. <laughs> and there. Okie doke, you can go swimming now. Yeah. yeah. Well, could it be a sparrow? Uh, did you find the mommy? Uh -uh. 
if George was going to find the egg's mommy, his drawing had to be the right size and the right color. <laughs> but he was running out of time. The day was almost over. It's gonna be hard to find Tiffany's mommy in the dark. Hey, let's ask the experts. They might know who the mommy is. Looks like a house wren to me. I'd say it's a parakeet. Mm, more like a house finch to me. You got that, George? A house wren, a parakeet, or a house finch? <laughs> Find the mommy yet? No. no. Oh. <laughs> Ow. House wrens had tiny reddish brown eggs. And parakeets had little pink eggs. <laughs> and house finches had light blue eggs. Oh, George still looking for the mommy? Yeah. Why couldn't George find the nest? His drawing was the right size, the right color. Mm. But wait, it wasn't the right shape. The other eggs were oval, but his egg was round. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they all must have hatched. Oh, oh hi, George. <laughs> the man was looking for eggs, too. Oh, 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 Let's face it, George is never going to find the mommy. We'll just have to move the egg. But Tiffany could get sloshed. Well, it's better than getting squished. Ah! Hey! Ah! <laughs> George? <laughs> what do you know? A late bloomer. <gasps> Chalidra serpentina. A turtle. Why didn't I think of that? Turtles bury their eggs in sand near water. Maybe this one got uncovered when the other eggs hatched. <laughs> I think Tiffany wants to go swim. As you can see, all kinds of animals lay eggs. Amphibians, reptiles, monotremes. Don't forget dinosaurs! <laughs> Maybe George would find one of those eggs next year. And 21 minutes left. <laughs> What's next? Uh, only hard ones. Eight things that add up to one. Huh? George knew that one and one adds up to two. But eight things that add up to one? Uh, what else? A hundred diamonds. Ooh. They're worth a hundred points. But you have to have all 100. Diamonds? George remembered a diamond. Ciao. Good luck. Ooh, what did you find for our team? <laughs> That's diamond shaped, all right. Only 99 left to go. Thank you so much! Uh -huh. 
Make that a hundred left to go. In fifteen minutes? I guess we better stick with what we got. Whoa! <laughs> nice breeze! Power Octagon! Oh, I got him! Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Forty-eight points. All gone. Ah, maybe we're not as clever as I thought. George wished he could cheer up Chef Piscetti. Ah. Then he remembered the one thing that always cheered him up. Just in time. Ooh. You really like my pizza, eh? Cheers you up? Oh, that's nice, Giorgio. You're right. It cheers me up, too. <laughs> Why worry about making the best mud pie or winning a race? I got all my good friends. And if my pizza makes you happy, well then, <laughs> what more could I ask? <coughs> Nothing like a slice of pizza. Or two. <laughs> or uh, <laughs> sometimes all eight. Huh? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Sometimes I eat all of... <gasps> My goodness. Eight. Eight pieces. Mm -hmm. Eight slices that add up to one. One pizza. That's the answer, Natty. I love you. Oh, oh, oh shit. No. Is it? Two minutes! Run! Come on, where are they? They have to make it! We are here! A hundred diamonds? Eight things that add up to one thing? They seemed impossible, but you figured them out, cousin. Well, I had a little help. It's been a fair game, cousin. May the best man win. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a score. As you know, the sponsors of the hunt base their donation on the number of points the teams accrue. This year, I'm proud to say the shelter will have the biggest donation ever, thanks to the winning team, Team Piscetti! <laughs> the animals of the N Avenue shelter, thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> George was glad he'd helped the chef with the contest, but win or lose, the chef was always a champion to George. Stop it, you tickling me! What are you doing? Ah!